Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak Wadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a few scriptures and share a few articles with you, Aki and Akwaf, uh, uh, that are pretty um, alerting. You know, as we know, uh, you know, Mississippi's been having water issues for some time, but, you know, they've been hit uh, recently with a with a, you know, a big time water issue. You know, they they have uh, they have water pressure, but it's pushing out, you know, brown water, man. You know, and through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, I came across an article uh, last night. Uh, uh, Mainsfield, Massachusetts, they actually found uh, E. coli, man. In the in the in the water supply, man. You see, which is pretty much uh, a, a fecal a coliform, man, bacteria, man. You see, <laughs> and through the spirit, I actually um, came across another article that was literally ju just came out yesterday in Cape Coral, Cape Coral, Florida. They found fecal matter in their water supply. You see, so you know it's apparent. You know, Babylon's being plagued. You know, obviously, I mean, you got to ask yourself, how did this, how did this, you know, fecal coliform get into the water supply? You know, you got to ask yourself that, you know, because supposedly Esau, Edom, the so-called white man has these state-of-the-art, you know, water filtration systems, you know, so, you know, <laughs> you can't fool, you know, the whole full elect, you know, obviously, you know, this bacteria got into the system, the water supply, some way, somehow, you see the water supply system, so... Ultimately, it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, plague in this place. You see, because he said, you know, he will bring plagues uh, upon Babylon uh, the Great as he as he's done before, man. He said he was going to do this. You see, in, in, in ancient Egypt, what did he do? He turned the water into blood, man. You see, matter of fact, let me get this real quick before we grab these articles. Uh, let me see here. And I'm on my way to the plantation, so I can't make this too long, but I got to bring this out through the spirit. Right, the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15. Uh, I'll start at verse 10, and it reads, Behold, my people is led as, flock, as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Right, and this is talking about Babylon the Great, spiritually Sodom in Egypt, America. OK, well, we're, we're, we're being uh, killed all the day long, man. You see, it's not a day that goes. It does. It's not a day that goes by and you don't hear about uh, Jake being sprawled out, man. You see, or being persecuted, you know, wrongfully. You see, because this is the place of our captivity, man. You know, this is the place where we're serving out judgment. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said he's not going to suffer us to dwell in the land of Egypt. He's not going to allow this anymore. You see, we're in a time of our uh, deliverance, starting with the elect. You see, Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. Right? Continuing on. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. Right? How is that going to be accomplished? Who's Yahweh? Yahweh's uh, mighty right hand? Yahweh Shai, the deliverer, the savior, the redeemer. You see, his name is literally an omen, nomen omen. Yah means he, Hawashai means deliverer. This is our Savior's name in the Lashawan Kodash, in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. It's not no Jesus, man. You see? Which is Greek. Our Messiah was in Greek. And there were no J's in the Hebrew, man. The J came into existence in 1524. But, anyways, continuing on. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. See? Past tense. He's done this before on in Egypt. Now, this is talking about the new Egypt, spiritually Sodom in Egypt, Mystery Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. And this gives more proof of it. 
and will destroy all the land thereof. Because ultimately, this place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man, by those ICBM missiles. You see, <laughs> according to John the Revelator, the vision he saw in, in Revelations, that lake of fire is Mystery Babylon the Great, man. America, this place is going to be hit with over 200 million missiles, man, whether you can believe that or not. OK, but the point is, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is plaguing this place as he's plagued Egypt before. Again, he's turned the water into blood in ancient Egypt. Hey, and this time he's 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 <laughs> he's contaminating the water with, with wormwood, man. <laughs> in, in this modern day Egypt, you see. All right, let's get these articles real quick. I'm going to grab the one in um, the one in my neck of the woods. Right. This is the one I came across first last night through the spirit. Right. This is from ABC six. Right. Boil water order issued after E. coli bacteria found in Mainsfield drinking water. You see now Mainsfield is not that far from me. Mainsfield is south of Boston. You see, I'm north of Boston. You see, it's about 45 miles away, 50 miles away, roughly. You see, so this is not far from me, man. About an hour away, roughly. You see. So this is what's happening in my neck of the woods. You know, so you Akiyam, you know, can can have an idea of what's going on up here. If you're not seeing this, you know, on the news where you are, you know, you brothers in the West and the South, you know, other areas of the, you know, of the world, man. You know, this is what's going on right up here in the no in the Northeast of America, man. You see, and it reads right, Mainsfield, Mass. A boil water order was put into effect Sunday after E. coli bacteria was found in Mainsfield's drinking water. You see? <laughs> and all, all E... Um, uh, <coughs> Salakia. Now, this E. coli bacteria is the... is the... Uh, is the... Is the um, uh, coliform bacteria, which is... which is um, fecal. It's fecal matter, man. How, does it end, how did this end up in the drinking water, man? You know? Let's continue on. The order will remain in place... Until the town's water tests negative for E. coli for three straight days. Residents can get free drinking water from, from a handout station at the Department of Public Works Complex on East Street. Staff will be handing out water from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Sunday and then from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Monday, Wednesday. Anyone going to the handout station needs a form of ID to verify that they live in Mainsfield. The bacteria was found in the water supply the water, so like it, the bacteria was found in a water sample that was collected on Wednesday. The town was notified that the water positive, that the water was positive for E. coli on Friday, at which point they collected three repeat samples. One of the samples was coliform positive, see, coliform, which is the fecal, <laughs> right, fecal matter. And this, this is actually, this is from September 11th, 2022, so Sunday, Okay. The total coliform positive repeat sample following the E. coli positive routine sample constitutes an E. coli maximum contaminant level, right? MCL violation, the town said in a statement. Mainsfield residents shall boil all water before drinking, making ice, brushing teeth, washing dishes, and preparing food until further notice. You see, now this is what's going on up here, man. In my neck of the woods here. And then through the spirit, I was led to another article recent. I mean, this is this is going on right now, right? This is in um, this is from yesterday. Okay, that previous article was from Sunday. This one's from yesterday, hours ago, right? And this is from um, uh, the W, right? E. coli found in Cape Coral water, citywide boil water notice. And I got people down there too, but that's neither here nor there. But um. September 12th, right? This is from September 12th, yesterday, right? And it reads, Cape Coral is on a boil water notice after E. coli was found in two separate samples of Cape Coral drinking water on Monday. A city-wide boil water notice was issued on Monday following the routine random sampling in two different locations. The samples were found next to a dog park, so Rob Hernandez, the city manager, said there could be a variety of methods of cross-contamination. Right. 
The first sample of alarm tested positive for the presence of total coliform, which is an indicator that there may be bacteria in the drinking water, though, though no E. coli was found in that sample. After more testing was done, a positive test for E. coli was found at another nearby location, which was enough to send out a citywide boil water notice. The city said the results are isolated to a very small part of the city in the Rotary Park area near the dog park. The two positive tests results out of 120 that were conducted on a monthly basis came back positive in an extremely narrow geographic area. I have no information right now to indicate that there is a problem of any kind with the city's, the quality and the safety of the city of Cape Coral's water treatment system, Hernandez said. This means that you should not drink the water without boiling it first. You should let the water boil for one minute and then let it cool before using it. Bottled water is also re a recommended option. E. coli and fecal coliforms are bacteria that may mean the water may be contaminated with human or animal wastes. Microbes and these wastes can cause diarrhea, cramps, nausea, headaches, or other symptoms. If you experience any of the symptoms above, you may want to seek medical advice. People at increased risk should seek advice from their health care providers about drinking water in the affected area. All right. The city has flushed the affected area. Both reverse osmosis water plants have increased the chlorination of the finished water, leaving the plants. The city is increasing sampling for coliform bacteria up to the source of the contamination. Yeah, and that's just uh, running that chlorine ain't all that good either. You know, the boil water notice will remain in effect until the affected area Areas test negative for the bacteria. The city has once again tested and will have those results at noon on Tuesday. So today, noontime, there should be results. E. coli is a particular concern for those with weakened immune systems. And we know what that thing did to people. That thing thing, right? That Capri Sun. We know what that's done to the immune system, right? Follow-up testing results are expected to come in on Tuesday. The city anticipates resolving the problem with the next 72, within the next 72 hours. The city of Cape Coral has also said that houses that use well water are not affected. Of course not. That's how we're supposed to be drinking our water out of a well, man. According to the school district, for free, too. Over here paying for contaminated water. You bastards. According to the school district of Lee County, to ensure water safety in Cape Coral schools, the school district of Lee County would do the fun. All right, and that's the point. All right. Now this is what now this is what's going on. You see, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is visiting this place, man. Okay. It's time for the visitation of Babylon the Great. The world for that matter. Hey, but Babylon the Great in particular. All right. This place, Yahweh Bashim Yahusha has this place on his crosshairs, man. You see? And you people are gonna be in misery for what you've done to the children of Israel, man. Let's go to let's go back to the scriptures, man. The book of Baruch, chapter four, and verse thirty, and it reads, "Take a good heart, O, o Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee." Starting with the elect, right? Because only the elect are gonna be able to receive this engrafted word that's able to save their souls. See? Only the elect are going to be given that vision, you know, to see that this place is going to be destroyed in the near future. And deliverance is going to come to the nation of Israel. Only the elect are going to be able to see that. Okay? Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. You know? The elect is going to be comforted. You know? Understand that this place is on its way out. Continuing on. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice. At thy fall, right? Who's done this? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, starting with Esau, evil E. He's he's afflicted us, man. You see? Along with these heathen, other heathen nations as well. You know? But he's the highlight of the conversation. He forwarded our affliction, man. You see? And he rejoiced at our fall, man. You see? He takes joy in being over us, oppressing us, killing us, man. But now scripture says miserable are they, man. Let's get this word miserable real quick. Because I know that's a heavy definition. Miserable. Miserable. Of a person wretchedly unhappy or uncomfortable. This is what you people got to look forward to, man. 
unhappy, sad, sorrowful, depressed, downhearted. You see? Wretched, gloomy, woeful. Woo! Grief stricken, heartbroken. Y'all better get ready because this is what you got. This is what you Babylonians got to look forward to, man. Okay? <laughs> this is what you Babylonians got to look forward to. And you elite got to look forward to slavery coming. Okay? You're going to be the first fru fruits of slavery, man. You elite. Okay? None of you are going to escape for what you've done to the nation of Israel, man. From you, from you elite all the way down to you regular Joe six packs, man. You're going to pay. Right? Continuing on. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Right here in Mystery Babylon the Great. The northern and southern kingdom. This, this is the uh, 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 the biggest gathering of the kingdoms, man. Both northern and southern kingdom. Scripture says we were oppressed together. Where was that at? Right here in Mystery Babylon the Great. Okay? The final captivity of the nation of Israel, man. Miserable is she that received thy sons, man. Mystery Babylon the Great. Hey, this place is about to go through it, man. You see? It's not going to get better. It's only going to get worse, man. Whether you people believe it or not, it's only going to get worse. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so should she be grieved for her own desolation. See? This is what this place has to look forward to. Desolation. Those ICBM missiles are going to turn this place into a lake of fire. And everybody in it, on the, on the return of those, on the, um, uh, um, the time those missiles touch down, if you here, okay, if you on this landmass, guess what? You're missile food. See? You out of there, man. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude. Right? The mirth is gone. And her pride shall be turned into mourning. That's all you got to look forward to is mourning, misery. Why? Because you're pride. Many great misery should be done to them that dwell on the earth in the latter days because they have walked in great pride. Okay? And there's no one more prouder than Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. You see? <laughs> And we're in the time of your visitation. And there ain't nowhere you can run. And there's nowhere you can hide, man. You see? As this famine continues to steadily increase. As this water continues to get contaminated <clears throat> and undrinkable. Guess what? The men of the Lord, the servants of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, we're going to be good, man. Lord willing, we're part of that precious number. See, we have nothing to worry about. Okay? Scripture says it, man. Matter of fact, let me close out here. Let me close out right here. See, and this is the comfort in our affliction right here. This is why we rejoice at the calamities that have befallen this whore. The book of Isaiah chapter 65. And verse 13, it reads, Therefore, thus saith the Lord, power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Behold, which means look. My servant shall eat. But ye shall be hungry, man. You two-third wicked Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that ain't want to listen and turn back. You're going to be starving in this time coming, man. The heathen have no uh, uh, way out. All right? This is the time of their visitation, man. You two-third Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Hey, that's your lot to be a two-third. You see? But you, you could have turned back. But you're not going to. Because it's your lot not to. You see? So you're going to be starving in these days to come, man. Right along with these uh, heathen, man. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. How, how are the servants of the Lord going to be drinking if the, if the water is contaminated with wormwood, man? And, 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 there's, and there's a famine. Oh, we'll find out. Okay? We know you how Bashim Shai can make water gush out of a stone, man. Hey, we'll find out. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, got us, man. We believe that wholeheartedly, man. See? We got divine protection. Okay? It's going to take divine intervention to escape, okay, the calamities that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is bringing upon the planet Earth. 
you know, to be able to escape evil E, it's going to take divine power. And that's going to come from Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah. And we believe that wholeheartedly. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. You niggas are going to be thirsty, man. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Kahala Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Get him, Lord. Get him, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Keep bringing these calamities. Babakwa Shah, Babakwa Shah, Babakwa Shah. Make the time short. Your visitation is imminent, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. The Lord's not going to stop bringing the pressure on you, man. Okay? He's going to increase this, 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 uh, the scourges. Okay? He's going to increase the, the, the pressure. Okay? And you're going to fall, you're going to fall headlong, man. Okay, you ain't gonna be ready for what the Lord bringing to you, man. Scripture says He's not gonna He's not gonna uh, uh, visit you as a man, man. You see, when He when He comes at the, at the climax of this thing, you are gonna be thirst to fight, man. You are gonna be thirst to fight. You see, the type of power that's coming to visit you, man, and it's gonna be a build up to it. And guess what? You can't run, and you can't hide, man. Hey, this thing's going to get worse and worse. But I just wanted to bring this out, Aki Aminakwath. I wanted to share this information with you, Aki Aminakwath. You know, because things are turning up. You know, things are happening in certain areas of Babylon, but they're not pushing it out there. You know? So it's important, you know, like the elders and apostles say, to bring out, inf bring out information that's happening in your area. You know, so the body can stay informed. You know? You know, so we can, you know, stay in tune with prophecy and, um, you know, absolutely be locked in. You know, and know what's going on, you know, where we're not, you know, residing. You know, it's always good. It helps It helps measure the time. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 100%, 144% truth. Lord willing, you, Akiyam, and Akwaf were edified. Barakata Yahawah, Barakata Yahawah Shai, Kahalayim La Yahawah, Bahashem Yahawah Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, Shalawam.